Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Ray, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Well, today we are going to be doing some building, but I don't think we're going to be doing much building in this base. I think it's going to be all about defense. By the way, I don't know why there's, a, why there's a fire here. When I logged on today, Kelvin was under the base, and I had to get him out, and I eventually got him out. But then I think he built a fire. You know what? I might have told him to build a fire. When I was under the base, I had the little card thing out, but I couldn't see what it said. And I wanted him to follow me because I could get under the base. He couldn't get out. So I wanted him to follow me, but I couldn't see the card because it was like glitched into the side of the wall or whatever. So whatever I told him to do, I guess it was to make a fire. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, Kelvin, Kelvin is doing work. I love this guy. All right. Well, you know what? We need to worry about base defense. Okay. Because, uh, you know, just getting attacked all the time is like, I can handle it, but um, I think I'd like more of a passive defense, traps take care of most of everything type of thing. Now, this side of the wall is legit. This might be a little overkill, honestly, but anytime they come from this side, they instantly get wiped out. It's freaking hilarious, and I love it. But when they come from other sides, and they have been coming from other sides, uh, you know, it's been a little bit less of a, a, a passive defense, I guess you could call it, and that's what I want. So we're going to be putting up some walls here. It may actually make our door today. I'm not really sure how I want to make the door. So I'm just going to kind of, uh, you know, play it by ear, see what it looks like. I mean, I could just make a regular door. And just like I did over here, I could just make one of these doors. It seems a little bit, um, I don't know, underwhelming, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. But the thing is, if I make some big giant door, there's no big giant, like, I can make a big giant opening, but there's no big giant doors. So if I make a big giant opening that looks cool and maybe has like arches and stuff, it would look cool, but it wouldn't be as defensible. So I'm not really sure what I want to do about the door. I'm thinking about making the big wide open door and just kind of dealing with it. They still have to run around half the base to get to it. So uh, it's probably still a good way to go, but uh, we shall see. And in here is pretty good. I mean, it's not done yet, but like the roof is done. The fires are good. And I have my kitchen. The kitchen is the main thing I wanted. Although I don't have a ton of storage. That's the thing that's bothering me. A lot of people are like, Cage, whenever you go out, you got to drop stuff off, man. I get it. I get it. When I watch other YouTubers go out with full inventories, it drives me up a wall. So I'm going to try and remember to drop everything off. But here's the thing, though. A lot of times when you're going out in this game, there's stuff you don't want to drop off. Like, maybe I need rope to make some bone armor, you know? And if I, if I don't find it, then I don't have it. Uh, maybe if I need some sticks to make a, you know, and, and the space blanket to make a save point, if I don't have it, then that, that's no good. Um, some of the stuff you just never, you can never fill up on. Duct tape you can never fill up on, at least, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think you can hold like thousands. And what else could you never fill up? I don't, rem I don't remember the other thing. Uh, oh yeah, wire. You can never fill up on wire. Um, cloth, what if I need cloth on a mat? It's just, a lot of times it's what if I need that type of thing. And I do drop some things off, you know, just... Not enough, I guess. Uh, so I'll just have to kind of see how it is and try to remember to drop as much stuff off as possible. And for those of you that want me to go out and get stuff, uh, don't worry. I'm probably going to be doing that next episode. I never know what I'm going to be doing from episode to episode 100%. But right now, every single plan I have in my brain is going to be going out next episode and getting stuff. Um, what am I going to get? I don't know. I'd really like to get the katana. See, I love this. I love this wall here, man. This whole setup is so... What? I think I just ate something off the ground. Uh, this whole setup here is so devastating. I love it. Uh, there we go. Cool. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Probably try and go ahead and get something next episode. If I can get the katana, I will go for the katana. It is my melee weapon of choice. Um, although, I feel like I've gotten pretty good with the heavy axe. Like, you know, if you time it right, there's nothing they can do about it, you know? If you time it right, they just get hit with the heaviest, you know, axe stroke you've got. Oh, okay. All right, buddy. Okay. Well, I didn't hit him, but if I if I was in, aiming in the right spot, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, here he comes. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Come at me. Okay. See, I keep missing him, but the timing is right. It's just I'm, I'm aiming too far to the left or the right. Oh, he just got killed. <laughs> I hate the way my fly swatters break him apart, because then I can't skin him. Like, what the heck? I don't feel like a fly swatter should break apart a body. I mean, it's a pretty cool trap, but it's not, you know... Not that devastating, right? I don't know. Maybe it is. Alright. Kelvin. Keep going, buddy. I'm using these rocks. I'm, or stone. 
call him the right thing. If I start calling them rocks, I'm going to start picking them up in the wrong spot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start getting confused. I'm going to be like, oh, they're rocks. No, they're not. They're stone. If you tell Kelvin to get rocks, he is not going to get stone. So that's just something to remember. Um, I don't feel like there's enough uh, traps out here. And I feel like there's too many traps in a spot where nobody's coming in. So let me show you that spot. <laughs> it's over here and nobody is coming in this way. Like I have not seen anyone come in this way. And I've just got like 90 traps set up. So I am... Oh, damn it. You know what I'm going to do? I keep walking into these things. I think we're taking these things out. How do I take them out? Can I... Oh, okay. I can actually take the stone back. Interesting. All right. We're going to take traps from over here. And we're going to move them over here. And I will have them like so. That looks pretty good. All right. We got to set it up. Cool. Uh, <laughs> that made me think of something. Like, I'm like, why does the trap go off when you place it? The trap goes off when you place it. I guess because the game doesn't want you using traps as like a cheap way to kill the enemies, which is cool. And it reminds me of the last time I streamed this game. I streamed this game on Sunday. And I was running around. We made the, uh, we made the four turtle trap thing. And I kept running around with it set and putting it underneath the feet of my friends and launching them 90 miles into the air and they just come down and die it was hilarious well maybe not for them no they thought it was funny i would have done it if they didn't think it was funny go right, i'm gonna take down this treehouse now too i've been meaning to for a while i think it's about time that that treehouse served us very well in the early parts of the game made the early parts of the game uh you know it, it just helped us survive and it was awesome but it's time to go all right, there we go. And I guess I might as well put some of these stone away. I don't want to like be taking those traps apart when I don't have enough room for stone in my inventory. That's one of the things people are saying. And that is a good point. Very good point. Been working on the wall and I did get attacked during the night. And we're just gonna kind of take out their effigies. I don't know if their effigies really matter being around here, but I don't like them. They make, they're kind of gross and they make me feel unwanted. <laughs> <laughs> and I think what we're going to do is, since we got a lot of bodies, we're going to go ahead and make some, some, I think they call it Greg. Yeah, it's basically just cannibal stew. Okay. So let's go ahead and I think it's two arms, two legs and a head. So let's just go ahead and pick up some body parts here. Um, I thought I saw a few over here. Yeah, I don't know. They might have turned into bones. I'm not really sure. But yeah. Well, if you don't find any, you can just cut them off. So, no big deal. There we go. We got a couple legs there. Um, I think I need a head now. People said you can make, like, effigies to, like, save the body parts. I, I don't know. I might do that at some point. I was just thinking they're probably going to get broken down by the enemy anyway. Um, so, I don't know if I want to bother, but... Got a skull here. Skull. All right. So, I think that's everything I need for the Gregs, too. I don't know. Um, because when, when I'm eating this, it's usually on multiplayer and... and <laughs> Uh, Miser has made it for me. Um, so yeah, there you go. Two arms, two legs, and a head. And it's it's like, it might be the best food in the game. Maybe lumberjack juice might be better. I'm not really sure, but it's pretty dope. So leg, leg, arm, arm, head. There you go. We got some cannibal stew coming up. I like cannibal stew better than calling it Greg. I'm going to see if I can get body parts, but it looks like the bodies are starting to disappear. So I guess, I guess not. I guess we're not going to get any more body parts. Let's just look around. And this is what I've gotten so far with the wall. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a lot of stone. And it does look like they came in from the back, or at least one thing came in from the back. But most of them came in from the front, and I forgot to lock my door, too. So that didn't <laughs> that didn't go well. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and continue using stone, too. And let's continue building up this wall. I don't know how high it needs to be. I, I got attacked by one of these big guys, you know, like the... the one of the big guys. I don't. I don't know how to explain what it is, but it's kind of like the the second biggest guy I've been attacked by, and he was he was like jumping over the wall. He like jumps, so he might be able to get in no matter what. But I think the rest of them will probably be okay at around this wall height. Although I'll probably go larger once I get this height of the wall taken care of. I'll probably go a little bit larger. Yeah. One thing that stinks with the stew is I'm always, like, drinking. I'm always over-drinking. Like, I'll, like, be at, like, a third food and almost full thirst. Because when you eat stew, it's just, it's just hydrating the crap out of you. 
So, <laughs> um, what are you gonna do, you know? But, uh, it's definitely good stew, though. I need to actually look into what the buffs do as well. I don't really pay attention to them. Go, and we'll put that up here. You know, I think I'm gonna go get another, uh, another cooking pot today. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. The, another thing I would like to do, and you know what, we'll just do this right... Oh, I can't get on the roof, that's... Okay. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm thinking in my head what's going on. Basically, I took down the thing that was allowing me to get on the roof because my idea was to make a turtle shell launcher to get on the roof. But the thing is, I don't have any turtle shells. And in order for me to get turtle shells, I need to go to the beach. In order to go to the beach, I want to use the launcher. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is maybe, just maybe, I can take apart one of these and get a turtle shell out of it. Just to, you know, and I'll rebuild it, but... Oh, I hate wasting the water. Um, but it is what it is. I've got plenty. So if you pick something up and you want to move it, if you right click, it breaks it, and there's the turtle shell. All right, cool. Very cool. So where should I put this launcher? I guess right here is a, probably a really good spot for it. I'm worried about, like, the enemies getting launched somewhere I don't want them to be, but... <laughs> but, I don't know. Maybe that could be pretty funny. Or devastating. I don't, like, one or the other. So let's see where it is. There we go. Spring trap. Oh, seems like as good a spot as any. And then... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I can work with that. Uh, we could put it on the other side. I really want it here, though. Darn it. I'm probably gonna do this a little bit differently at some point, but for now, um, this will get me up there. And I'll make some kind of platform somewhere. I'm not... Dude, I just did it off camera and it worked. Hold on. There we go. All right. Yeah, but I, the thing is, uh, I don't like it there. But it's good enough. It's good enough for now. Let's make sure. Okay. So we got to go that way. So jump and boom. All right. Cool. Let's go get some turtle shells. And you can carry up to three turtle shells. Now, I'm not going to be able to make it back in one, in one go, but that's okay. I'm going to get out and stretch our legs a little bit. Even though we're doing building, I don't want to do only building. Some people are asking if those smoke things right there are cannibal camps. You are 100% correct. They are cannibal camps. And here we are at the beach, and there is our cooking pot. So if we wanted to, we could save the game, reload, grab another cooking pot. Um, I want a lot of cooking pots, but I don't need them that badly right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just grab all of the stuff we can here. Cool, cool. Um, more taser ammo. I guess I should start using the taser more. How much taser ammo do I have? Oh, only four? Wow, I feel like I should have more. But yeah, that stuff's really good, by the way. Uh, so that's all looking good. I think we got everything there. Let's look for some turtles. There's usually, like, more turtle turtles over here than I can kill. It's crazy. But I think they only come out at certain parts of the year. But it might be, like, every part of the year except for... Um, possibly winter. So, I don't know. Don't think you're gonna get turtle shells during the winter, I guess. Although, I don't... I don't... I guess the main thing you need turtle shells for, you wouldn't really need during the winter, because you, you most... The big thing you need turtle shells for, for the most part, is the water collectors, and those don't work during the winter anyway. So... Uh, but, yeah. You can also get meat here. It's a good source of meat. Like, it's not like they can get away. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little bit hard to find... Oh, there we go. Oh, goodness. Maybe they're not hard to find. You just... Hard to see sometimes, at least for me. Oh, yeah, get the eggs, too. You can cook with the eggs. Matter of fact, maybe I'll do that when I get back. I don't know how long they last for, the eggs. But the ones I have at home might be bad. Also, while you're here, go ahead and grab... What is that? Oh, that's a turtle I killed? Okay. Go ahead and grab some oysters, although I'm not seeing any. There's usually a lot of oysters around here. There, There's a good oyster stew you can make at home, so... Um, you want to grab some oysters if you can find them, but I'm not seeing them. I finally found some oysters. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can only hold five, so there we go, five. All right, let's head home. Head home with some oysters, with some turtle shells. We're looking good here. We're going to save just in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. I am definitely a pessimist. And put this away, and here we go. All right, let's get some speed. There we go. All right, that's looking okay. 
I guess we're just gonna go this way and hope we can make it as far as possible. Okay. Well, we're, I mean, we're getting spout to. Let's do the speed thing one more time. There we go. People said it's not about the angle. It's about the speed. I figured if you pulled up too fast, yeah, we can make it home in one shot. I figured if you pulled up too fast, you'd stall out kind of like a plane. But that does not seem to be the case. And I think we're going to make it home in one shot. Thank you for the tips, guys. People that teach me how to use this thing. It's awesome. Oh, man, that's great. So now I can make it home in one shot. So going back to get... Uh, well, actually, it might still be a little bit tough. Let's do this one more time. There we go. That should that should get us home. Yep, yep, because we are going uphill. And that's the thing that makes us a little tricky. But no, I mean, it's looking pretty good. We just got to aim in the right direction. I wish I could use my mini-map to do this stuff instead of pulling out the phone, but that's okay. That's okay. I think we're going to make it home one shot. Just got to aim a little bit more left. Coming up to our... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's looking good. A little more, more right. Awesome. Dude, that's freaking awesome. I mean, I might not make it totally all the way, but... Actually, I might, because the, the tops of the trees don't knock you down anymore. So, we're going the right... Yes, we are going the correct direction. Awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I didn't realize I was so close to a cannibal camp. I guess that makes sense. And... Boom! And parkour down. Badass. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so what were we doing? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were supposed to replace these. Um, and let's make another one. It's not a trap. I don't remember what it is. I think it's a utility. Yeah, there it is. And put that one there. Beautiful. It's all coming up cage. Now, what was I doing over here? <laughs> I don't remember. I remember now. I was supposed to have another pot. So when I when they come in and attack me, I can make more Greg. But also, I got oysters. So let's just see what we can do with the oysters. I know you can cook something with them. I don't know if it's just the oysters you need or if there's something else you need. And I hope it's like... I don't like the fact that you can carry an odd number of oysters. Because if I need two oysters or three oysters or four oysters, I'm going to have leftover oysters which is going to drive me a bananas. But let's see what we can do with it. Okay. Oysters. Oh, we can make meat too. Uh, where are the oysters? Oysters, oysters. Oh, you need oysters and fish. Is there anything with just oysters? No, I see oysters and fish. And I can make that big thing. Um, the kitchen sink. Uh, yeah, you know, we could probably do that. Although I really like the oysters and fish because it only takes one. That's pretty cool. And that's all for the oysters. Um, the eggs we could use as well. We could use the eggs with the booze for eggnog. Let's go grab some fish. Um, I do have some meat too. I gotta either put that meat on a dry rack or or cook it into stew. Honestly, like I still don't have enough cooking pots. <laughs> I need so many cooking pots. One, two, three. And let's go ahead and cook some, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's just cook with the fish and the oysters. I think that's pretty good. The kitchen sink's nice, though. I, I, I almost want to do that. Let's see. What was the kitchen sink again? Okay, yeah, let's do the kitchen sink. There's nothing I really care about in there. All right, so fish, mushrooms, meat. Uh, two of each. Yes. Fish, meat, mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. Um, eggs. Oysters and eggs, oysters. This really is the kitchen sink and one of these. There we go. Kitchen sink coming up. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. Let's see what we got in these. Uh, is that one empty? No, that one's got stuff in it, but how much? See, again, when these things are on the shelves, you have to, you got to be able to see what's in them and how much of it. Because like now I got to like take each one off and see how much is in it and like, these are all kind of full, too. We might just have to stop making stuff because I've got, like, more food than I'm going to need for a while. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, boiled meat. These are all full. That's insane. I've got so much food. That's awesome, though. This is really good for multiplayer, by the way. 
we have miser like cooking for us so we're all cannibals now um you know let's just eat the rest of this um so <laughs> she's just like hey another thing of stew is up and like all right let's do it you know it's um it's really good in multiplayer probably isn't needed as much in single player but it's it's nice to have it i i like it this is one of the th actually this is not one of this is the number one thing that they've added to the game since it came out this was not in the game when it first came out and this is the number one thing i love the most that they've added uh what are those eggs okay do eggs ever go bad i don't know uh one fell all right hold on i really don't want to waste any eggs I don't know why. Apparently, you can only hold four. That's a weird number to be able to have to hold. All right, so we got that. That's the kitchen sink. Oops, I forgot. That's, that's the one I want. Yeah. No, that's. Sorry. There we go. And put that on there. Hold on up for a second. Put that up there. Put the kitchen sink up there. Okay. Now let's see what else we want to make. So. Oh, we can't make anything else. Oh, because I probably need the fish, right? Yeah, I need fish. Oh, it's three fish and one oyster? I thought it was, like, one. But, all right, yeah, let's go grab some more fish. I mean, I got the fish traps for a reason. And we're going to make that oyster stuff. I should probably find out what it's called because I'm probably going to be eating a lot of it. And one, two, three. Did I take them out? I can't tell because I turned off my tutorials. Yeah, they're all out. All right, cool. And I'd like to make boiled meat. I just, I don't have enough room for all the food. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. And I do have a drying rack uh, in my building, but the problem is when you have a drying rack that's exposed, like your food just gets stolen. But I guess if it's going to go bad anyway, I might as well just put it on the drying rack and see if it gets stolen. Right, Sylvie? My cat Sylvie just jumped on my desk and is looking at me. And she's like, I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm gonna f be feeding the whole neighborhood. All right. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and cook some more of this up. Uh, I'm not even gonna look. One, two, three. And Sylvia, I can't see. I had to put the poor kitty out. She's so cute. But I got, I gotta get my work done. I'm streaming today, so I gotta go. All right. I think, I think it's time, guys. We're gonna take this bad boy down. Let me go ahead and save the game before I do it, <laughs> just because it could be very painful for me. And, um, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. By the way, that, um, three fish and one oyster thing is called Kelvin Special. Oh, he got killed. What a dingbat. Look at these stupid babies. Two babies down. More babies coming in. I see him. I see him. I like the uh, I like the fly sorter traps because they're the only things that hit the babies. Oh, something tried to attack me from behind. Come on, set it off. Set it off. You'll... All right, fine. I'll take you out myself. I don't know what got killed here. It might have been another baby. I don't know why I was trying to set that trap either. All right, let's go ahead and gut this guy. Old fingers, McGee. Didn't like what uh didn't like what I was um laying down for him. So. That's okay. More skin for me. More skin for me. Now, was it doing? Oh, yeah. It says the Kelvin special, right? And then I was going to chop down this tree. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, let's chop it down this way. Okay. And oh! 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 I thought the, I thought the logs would just disappear, man. I didn't know they were going to, like, actually be usable. All right. Fair enough. I guess I... I guess I got some cleaning up to do. That's okay, man. I get logs out of it, though. That's pretty cool. There we go. Just throw them over there. They're not all full logs, though. There's a bunch of half logs, which is going to be annoying. Um, I really don't want to waste them, though, because I could probably use them on a future build. But there's no, like, easy way to stack, you know, the half logs. So I could place them down in certain spots, but I don't know. It might be more... more it may not be worth the time. There's no way to stack this, and I don't have anywhere to put it. I guess I could just put it along here. I could also cut it up into firewood. I think I'm gonna just gonna put it over here. Possibly cut it up into fire. Actually, no. it's annoying because now it's in the way. I got all the major logs in here, and I just left the game and come back. I don't want to deal with all that, 
all that headache. So everything's gone. Um, I don't want this tree to grow back. So there you go. And now this area is looking a lot cleaner. And there's a lot of trees I want to cut down out here as well. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> he just looks like he's sitting there. Get up, lazy bones. <laughs> uh, one of the good things about restarting the game is all the stone in the area is respawned. So I'm going to go ahead and use the stone, continue building out the wall. Uh, I'm going to think about how I want to do the entranceway. I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it my next building episode. Next building episode will be all about the entrance. But for now, we need to use some stone because he's going to fill up those stone... Uh, I don't know what you call them, stone storage thingies, stone holder, whatever. Uh, <laughs> they need to fill them up quick, so. I mean, I don't, he might not fill them up, but I don't want to take the chance. And this wall is looking freaking awesome. And treehouse is gone. Everything's looking good. We made a bunch of food. I don't have to worry about food for a while. Like, it just sucks. Like, I hate getting food and, like, it goes bad or I can't use it. But I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I'd rather have too much food and have it going bad than not have enough, right? So. Alright, that's all looking. Should I tear this part down yet? See, I don't want them coming in and getting over there, so I don't think I'm going to just yet. I don't mind them, like, coming over here. I could fight them a little bit easier over here. But over there, it's a lot less open. And I started swinging my axe, I end up damaging my own buildings, and it's just kind of... Kind of sucks. <laughs> It is just about time to go to bed, and let's see if we get attacked tonight. I'm just building up the wall. There we go, looking good. Let's go save, go to sleep, lock, save. No, lock the doors, save, go to sleep, hope for the best. Locked and locked. I like the fact that they come into your house, though. That's that's legit. Like, that is really cool. Let's see how we do this. Nope. Definitely under attack. All right, let's see how this is gonna go. Uh, number seven. There we go. Come through. Oh, dude, really? Oh, what an asshole! Dude, I'm wondering if my traps even go off at night, cause they get in pretty easily. Let's see how many traps I have. I hate that guy who runs at you, dude. He's a he's a problem. Well, we'll see. Actually, I could just go to my traps and see if any of them are set off, then I'll know. All right, dickhead. Yeah, that's what you get. What we'll do is in the morning, we'll go we'll go to our traps and see if they've been set off. Because, I don't know, man, they seem to get in here pretty easily when I'm not, when I'm not like, prepared. Uh, but I guess that does make sense, because if they're coming in, like, six or eight at a time, a few of them get hit, but, you know, some of them don't. I mean, the traps aren't in every inch of the, of the you know, base, so... Let's see how this goes. Go to sleep. Okay, so it was just those two. Alright, now if I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna go out there and we're gonna find a lot of bodies that are not those two bodies. And they, a lot of them died on the way in, but a lot, a, a couple of them made it. So, I guess that makes sense. I hate that guy that charged at me. That really aggravated me. I'm not even sure why. I have a lot of water to grab from the um, water collectors. So let's see how this went. Unlock. Unlock. Alright, so... That's the one that... Those are the two that died when I was woken up. And... Oh, yeah. So, that one died when I was woken up, and I think that one... So there's one right there that died before I ever got woken up. But, I don't know, maybe it was just three. Or maybe I'm missing bodies, I don't know. Sometimes I come over here and all these traps are set off. And there's bodies everywhere. So one definitely got set off. But that could have been a deer. I'm not seeing a body in the area, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's why we, that's why we need the wall. That's why I'm working so hard. And you can see how much of the wall I have built so far. I don't think having an opening is going to work. Because I'm going to need, like, a door or something. Because, like, they're just going to walk in. Like, at night, at least. But, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. you want to see a big, cool-looking open archway? Or do you want to see a small, generic door like this? I'm, I'm kind of curious on what you guys think. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.